Hello friends. Now we will start the miscellaneous exercise for the logic. Now let us start. First question. Select and write. The correct answer from the given alternatives in each of the following first if P and Q is a false and P or Q is a true, then the dash dash is not true. Now in this case, if P and Q is a false, means that one of them is a true or false. Because P or Q is a true, if we see both of these, then one of them is true and other is a false. Then which is not true? That is a P or Q will be the true. But what about the P double amplification Q? In this case, one of them, these two are the different and therefore this is not true therefore option b is a correct one next second a and q implies r is a logically equivalent this is a logical equivalent to These are the four options and you can verify that that is the optional A is a correct one that is a P implies in bracket Q implies R. Inverse of a statement pattern Inverse of statement pattern P or Q implies P and Q is
Now we want to find out the inverse of the statement pattern P or Q implies Q and R. This is the third option and the last is D is That is option C is a correct one. That is, we know that the if P implies Q, then it's a inverse. That is option C is a correct one. If P and Q is false and P implies Q is a F. Then the truth then the truth value of P and Q as these two are the different P implies Q is a F Therefore, Q must be F and P must be T. Therefore, option B is a correct one. Now the fifth one. The negation of inverse of the negation of inverse of negation of P implies Q is These are the options. First is Q and P. Second is negation of P and negation of Q. C is P and Q and D is a negation of Q and implies negation of P. Now, first of all, we will find out the inverse of that. That is, we will apply the negation to the given statement. We will apply the negation. To find out the inverse, apply the negation to the given statement. That is the negation of negation of P implies negation of Q. It is the P implies negation of Q. Therefore, this is the inverse. Now we will apply the negation. What is the answer? The answer is P and Q. But in the textbook, there is given the two answers P and Q and Q and P is also there for the there are the two answers. Okay. The answer is P and Q. That is a P and Q and Q and P. That is a commutative. Two answers are there A and C. Next is sixth one. The negation of P and Q implies R is now the first is. Negation of P and 
in bracket negation of q implies negation of r b is p r in bracket negation of q or r C is negation of P and negation of Q implies negation of R and D is negation of P or in bracket negation of Q and negation of R. Now the negation of P and in bracket Q implies R. If we apply the negation, then you will get P, negation of P or negation of P Q implies R, in bracket Q implies R. Again, negation of P, we will apply the negation to implication, then it is a Q and negation of R. Now, this will be the correction in the answer. My answer is this. If you are agree, then write down this answer. This must be the answer. This is my answer. In the textbook, the answer is given in a different way. Seventh, if A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then which of Which of the following is not true? There exists X belongs to A such that X plus 3 is equal to 8. There exists x belongs to a such that x plus 2 is a less than 9. Which of the following is a not true? There exists. We'll check it all. And option C is a correct one. That is for every x belongs to A. You can verify this. For every x belongs to A, x plus 6 is a greater than or equal to 9. This is not true. For every, if we take x is equal to 1, then it is not possible. And hence, option C is a not true. Hence, the C is a correct one. Question number two. Which of the following sentences are statement in logic? 
जस्टिफाई write down the truth value of the statement that is 4 factorial is equals to 24 this is a statement and yes, it is a true. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is equals to 24. It's a truth value is a T. Second, pi is an irrational number. It is a statement. And its a truth value is a t. Next is India is a country. And Himalayas is a river. It is a statement. But its a truth value is F false. India is a country. This is E. It is a true. Himalaya is a river. It's a false. That is a T and F is again F. India is a country. It's a true. Himalayas is a river. It's a false. That's a T and F is F. Next. Please get me A glass of water. It's not a statement, it is a request. Interrogative exclamatory. Command, order,
suggestion are not statement these are not statement therefore the given sentence is not a statement now next is cos square theta minus sin square theta that is equals to cos of 2 times theta for all theta belongs to set of real number next is if x is a whole number then the x plus 6 is equals to 0 it's a statement but its a truth value is a f because if x plus 6 is equals to 0 then x is equals to minus 6 and minus 6 is not in the whole number that is whole number has the numbers 0 1 2 3 up to the infinity therefore the answer is f This is the correction in the answer given in the textbook. Now we will see the next. Now the next is write the truth values of the following statement. Root phi is an irrational number, but three root phi u is a is a complex number. Therefore, yes, that is a p root phi is a rational number. It's a correct one. Its a truth value is a t, and three root phi is a complex number. That is complex number contains all type of the numbers. Therefore, its a truth value p and q is t. P and t is t. second for every n belongs to set of natural number n square plus n is a even number and n square minus n is an odd number Now in this case, p n square plus n is an even number. It is a true, but n square minus n is an odd number. This is not true. Therefore, t and f is f. Now the next is. Now the next is. There exist n belongs to capital n such that n plus phi is greater than ten. Yes. If we take the value of the n is six, then it's a Truth value is a true. Next is next question is the square of any even number is odd. Odd. the cube of any number is odd the square of any even number is odd
Next is, if we consider the P, the square of any even number is odd. Q, the Q of any any odd number is odd. Now the first is false and second is true. Therefore, F or T is T. Therefore, it's a truth value is the T. Now the fifth one. In triangle ABC, all sides are equal, then its all angles are equal. That is, all sides are equal. This is if we consider it is a true and all angles are equal that's it the t implies t or it's directly we can write it as a it's a truth value is a capital t now the next is sixth one for every n belongs to set of natural number n plus 6 is a greater than 8 this is not possible for every n belongs to capital n n plus 6 is a greater than 8 this is not possible it's a false now the question number 4 If A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, determine the truth value of each of the following each of the following statement first is there exist x is in a, a such that x plus 8 is equals to 15 yes if you take x is equals to 7 then it is a true. Next is second one. For every x belongs to A such that x plus 7 is a greater than or equal so for every x belongs to A x plus 5 is a less than 12 sorry for every x it is not possible next question which is third one there exist x belongs to a such that x plus 7 is a greater than or equal to 11 yes it is a true now the fourth one for every x belongs to a 3x is a less than or equal to 25 is it a possible If you take x is equals to 9, then it is not possible. Therefore, it is a false. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव राइट द निगेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट इज फॉर एवरी एन बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल ए एन प्लस सेवन इज अ ग्रेटर देन सिक्स नाउ यू आर सी दैट दैट इज अ फॉर एवरी एन बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल ए एन प्लस सेवन इज अ ग्रेटर देन सिक्स द निगेशन ऑफ दिस इज For every, it means that there exist n belongs to capital A such that n plus seven is a less than or equal to six. Now the next question: There exist x belongs to A such that x plus nine is a less than or equal to fifteen. Its negation is for every x belongs to A. Such that x plus nine is greater than fifteen. This is the negation. Now third one is. Some triangles are equilateral triangle, and its negation is all triangles are not equilateral triangle. Start the question number six. Construct the truth table for each of the following. That is a P implies. In bracket Q implies P. Now the first we'll take the table that is the P Q and the main joint is implication is between Q implies P and the P. Therefore, first we'll write the P Q Q implies P. Then this is the P implies in bracket Q implies P. Now we'll write first the values of P double T double F. Q is T F T F, and next is implication. And what is in implication? What implies T? There is a T implies T. Therefore, it is a true. F implies T. Therefore, it is a true. T implies F. Therefore, it is F. F implies F. Both are same same. Then it is a true. Now see this here. Now the P implies Q implies P. Now T implies T. Now see this here. T implies T is a T. T implies T is a T. F implies F. F it is a true. F implies T. Again it is a true. Therefore all are true. Again you can see this here also. Next is. In this case, the main joint is this. This is the main joint of this question. 
that's why we we want to construct first of all the PQ negation of P negation of Q. Then we'll find out negation of P or negation Q. This is the fifth one. Next we'll find out P and Q and their negation. And now we'll construct this table. Now first we'll write the values of P. That is the double T double F. Q is T F T F T F. Negation of P is F F T T. Negation of Q F T F T. And now we'll find out the R between that is the negation of P and the negation of Q or this will be the F, T, T and T. Now see this here. F, T. Now next we will find out the and between these two, 1 and 2. That will be the T, T, F is F, F and F. First will be T and all will be the F. Now their negation, column number 7. Negation of this is F, T, T, T. And now we will find out the double implication between double implication between 5th and 6th. What is it? If both are same same then it is true. F, F is T. T, T is T. T, T is T. T, T. Alls are same. T, T. And it is a all true. In this way you can see this also here. Next question. That is the negation in bracket negation of P and negation Q or Q. This is the main joint. And for that we will require P, Q, negation of P, negation Q. Their and and again their negation and we will find out this is the joint between these two which is the R. That is the R between 6th and 2nd. Now let us start. P. Double T, double F. T F T F double F double T negation of Q F T F T. Now we'll find out the and between these two F F and T. Now their negation T T T F and R between these two. That is R between sixth and the second one. Now see this here. This is the correction in the data table. Again, this is the my answer. Now, next problem is here is a PQR the statement. Therefore, 2 raised to 3 means 8 P and Q or R and and negation of R or P and Q. This is the main joint. And we will require all these first bracket, this square bracket and this second bracket. First, we will find out these values of these two square bracket. For that, we will require we will write here P, Q, R, then negation of R, then P and Q, and next we will find out P and Q or R. Next we will find out that is the negation of R or P and Q. And lastly, we will find out the and between 6 and 7. Now, see this here. P is 4 times T, 4 times F, Q is a TFTF, R, double T, double F, and R is a TFTF, TF, their negation. These are the negations. P and Q. 
with R. P and Q or R. You can check it also. Now the negation of R or P and Q. Negation of R or P and Q. That is the fourth and fifth or between four and fifth. And last is and between six and seven. T T is T, T T is T, P F is F, F and this is. You can see this also here. Yeah. Now here is again fifth one that is a negation of P or Q and Q implies R. This implies P implies R. Now we'll find out the first T square bracket. At first we'll write the PQR negation of P, negation of P or Q, Q implies R and we'll find out the and between fifth and sixth and next is Simplification of that is the P implies R that we want to construct here and not construct it here. Now we'll see this here. That is a P is a 4T 4F. Q is double T double F. R is TFTF. Negation FF TT. Negation of P or Q. That is a T, T, F, F, T, 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 and T. Now Q implies R. That is a T, F, T, T, T. F T F T. One is that is here must be the uh, that is the, I had taken the mistake. I will change it afterward. This is a Q implies R. This is a Q implies R. That is a F implies F. It must be true here. And I will change it afterwards. That's why you have to take very highly precaution when you construct this type of the tables. Now if P implies R. Again, first is T, F, T, again F, T, 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 and T. And now, 7 implies 8. Now, just we have made the mistake there. That's why we'll get the its result afterward. This must be true here. We'll make the correction afterward. See this here. Had changed. Now this one is the correct one. I had changed it. That is the Q implies R, F implies F is T, and and between these two is again a true. Okay. Then we'll find out the amplification between 7 to 8. This is a true, 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 and all are the true. And in this way, sometimes there may be the mistakes. That's why you have to take very highly precaution. Use the scale to find out the correct values. Now the next. Question number seven. Determine whether following statement pattern is 
statement pattern or tautology. contradictions or contingencies now we'll start here Now the next is in first square bracket P implies Q and negation of Q. This implies negation of P. Now for that we will write first P, Q, negation of P, negation of Q. P implies Q and and between the 5 and 6 and last is that is a 6 implies 3. This 6 implies 3. Now, first is P is double T double F. Q is TF, TF, TF. Negation of E is F, F, T, T. And negation of Q is F, T, F, T. P implies Q. There is a T implies T. T implies F. F implies T. And F implies F is T. And add between the fifth and fourth. This is F, F, F and T. And the last is 6 implies 3. That is F implies F. It is a true. F implies F. Again it is a true. F implies T is a true. T implies T is a true. And overall it is a tautology. Now see this again. How the table is constructed double T double F Q is TF 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 negation of P is a double F double T negation of Q is F T F T P implies Q first is T second is F T T next is and between fifth fourth and fifth That is F, F and this is the true. And now 6 implies 3. This is the true and true. And in this case, it is a tautology. This is the Now next is number 2. This is the second one. That is in this case that is a P or Q in first square bracket and negation of P and negation of Q. Now the first is that is a P. That is a double T double F. Q is a T F T F. Negation of P is a F F T T. Negation of Q is a F T F T and or between first and second that is a T or T is a T T or F is T F or T is a T F or F is F and now and between this fifth and third that is the and between that F T is F again F T is F T T is a T and TF is F. And what about the last? That is the and between 6th and 4th. And between 6th and 4th. F, F is F. F, T is F. It is and. F, T is F. And T, F is F. Therefore, it is a contradiction. See this again here. Double D double F, Q is a TFTF, negation 
f f t t negation of q if f t f t p or q is a t t t f p or q and negation of p that is a f f t is there mistake by me yes here is a mistake i think we'll change it this is the and therefore it is a f and hence it is a contradiction by using the scale you can see this and find out the answer of each column now next we will see the third one see this first of all the answer that is a p implies q and p and negation of q now here we will require the first of all p q negation of p p implies q p and negation q and and between that is a fourth and fifth now p is double t double f q is a t f t f negation of q is a f t f t p implies q this is a t f t and t p and negation q that is a f t f and f now p implies q and that is and between these two this is f f f and f and hence overall it is a contradiction now see this how it's happen here first is double t double f q t f t f t f next is amplification t f t and t and one thing is remaining that's we want to find out negation of q and negation of q is a f t f t and and between that is a first and third f t f and f now implication that is a t implies f that is and between these two fourth and fifth we get the contradiction now there is a fourth one that is a p implies in bracket q implies r double amplification this is the main joint p and q implies r now here these are the p q r therefore first is p is a 4 t 4 f q is a double t double f and q is a t f t f and then first we find out the and between first and second t t is t t t is t t f is f f t is f f t t f is f f t is f f t is f f f is f and f f is f now q implies r that is a t implies t is t t implies f is f f implies t is a t f implies f is t t implies t is a t t implies f is f f implies t is t f implies f it is a true now next is a p implies q implies r that is a first to fifth that is a t implies t is a t t implies f is f t implies t is a true t implies t is a true t f implies t is a true f implies f is a true f implies t is a true f implies t is a true and next is a q implies r that is from fourth to third t implies t is t t implies f is f f implies t is a tree f implies f is f f implies t is a true f implies f is a true f implies two is a true and next is f implies f is a true now the double imp double implication between that is the fourth and third that is a fourth 
seventh sorry seventh and the eighth these are the double implication that is a tt next is a ff is again t t t t and t and t and t and we get the overall it is a tautology now see this again here yeah. Now see this fourth one. Is that a four T four F? Q means double T double F and R is T F T F T F. Now and between P and Q. This is a two, two, F, 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 F. Q implies R. That is a two, F, two, 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 F. Two and two. P implies Q implies R. That is a first implies fifth. T implies T. F T T. F implies T is T. F implies F is T. F implies T is T. And F implies T is a T. Now four implies three. Four to three. T implies T is T. T. T implies F is F, F implies T, and in this way you will get in the column number seven. Now the eight is seven implied. Double implication between the seven and six. That is a, and here I had changed it. That is a double implication between the. Sixth and double implication between the sixth and the seventh, then you will get it's again the tautology. Now the next is a that is a fifth one. What is the fifth? That is a p and in first square bracket p and p implies q. P is implies q. Now see this. First is p. Double T double F Q is a T F T F P implies Q and that is a T F T and T. Now next is a and between first and third. That is a T. Next is F F and F. Now fourth implies two. That is a T implies T is a T T T and T. Therefore, it is a tautology. Now we'll see this again here. Next is add corrected it. P implies Q. P and in bracket P implies Q. That is the and between first and third. And implication between fourth and second. It is again T. T and T. It is a tautology. Now the next is now the sixth one. That is a P and Q or negation of P and Q or P or negation Q or negation of P. Now see this uh, sixth one. That is first is P Q negation of P negation of Q P and Q. And next is negation of P and Q. Seventh is P or negation Q, and eighth one is negation of P and negation of Q, and next we'll find out that is a or between fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. 
that is a or between if one of them is a true then it is a true if it is this is a true again true again true and again true and overall it is a tautology now see this again how it comes now negation of q ft ft and between negation of p and q it's very simple statement and and for the or if one of them is true then it is true other way false you can see this also and negation of p and q that is first is f f f and last is t and or between all these that is all are true or between fifth sixth seventh and eighth one of them is true then it is a true and hence it is a tautology this was the sixth one now we'll see the seventh first of all see the seventh here mm. now seventh is in first square bracket p or negation q or negation of p and q square bracket complete and r that is first will require the p q r negation of p negation q p or negation q negation of p and q and next is a there is a and between or between sixth and seven and last is and between that is the eighth and third one that's why first is p that is four times t four times f q is a tf double t double f r is tf tf they are negations and you can check it and we get that is a mix between last is 8 and 3 it is a mix of f and t f and t and that's why it is a contingency you see this here how the table is formed r t f t f negation of p is a Four times f and four times t. Negation of q, double f, double t, double f, double t, double t, and or between. That is the first and fifth one. First is t, 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 f, f, t, and t. Negation of p and q that is a negation of p and q that is f you can see this also and now the and between 6 and 7 6 and 7 and and between 8 and 3 Now there is a simple correction. I am making that correction. And again, we will take it's the
that is the hand between 8 and 3. You can see and the check it. It's a mix. That is the T and F are the mix. Therefore, it is a contingency. Next is eighth one. So we'll see this so first of all. We'll see the eighth one here. That is a P implies Q in first bracket and Q implies P. First is P, Q, P implies Q, Q implies P and R in between these two. Now by mistake here is a and but it is a actually it is a R. You can change it. Therefore you will get the final it is a tautology. Now the next we will see how it is a again this is the R by mistake it is and Q implies P and or between these two therefore overall it is a all are true therefore it is a tautology and then this way I have completed this question now the next is question number eight determine the truth values of p and q in the following cases Here the P or Q is a true and P and Q is a true. The truth values of P and Q is a T. It's definitely. Both of them must be true. It's a simple one. Second. P or Q is a true and P or Q implies Q is F. Now it's a clear that Q is a F as P and P or Q implies. is a true hence p is true and Now you can see this here, P or Q is a true and P implies Q is F. The what implies? It implies F. That is a Q is F. As Q is F and P and P or Q is a true. Therefore, P must be true here. Therefore, P is a true and Q is F. Hence, truth value of P and 
Q, E, T and F. Now the next is determine the truth values of P and Q in the following cases. This is the fifth one. This is the first is second. P or Q is a true and P implies Q implies is F that we have clear here. Second one. Now this is the third one. P and Q is F and P and Q implies Q is a true. Now here P and Q is F and P implies Q is a T. That is first if we see this what implies it? It implies T. Therefore, Q must be true. This is the first value. Next is P and Q is a F. As Q is a true and Q must be then false. That is the P must be false. Then in first cases, the values of are F and T. The values of P and Q. Secondly, if as P and Q implies Q is true, then it may be possible that this is a f and this is also f. Therefore, in secondly, we take it is a f and p is a true. Therefore, the second value is a t and f. And lastly, that is, we'll take both of them are also false. That is a p is f and q is f. How it is? That is a f and f is f it's okay that is this f implies f f implies f it is a true therefore these are the different values of p and q that is first is p is you can take its f q is t secondly you can take p as a true q as f and lastly both of them are the false that is a f and f but you can't take both of them are true okay alternately they are t and f but and also you can take both of them are the false also now the question number nine using two tables Prove the following logical equivalences that is this is the first you can see this also here. First equivalence that is a P double amplification Q is equivalent to P and Q or negation of P and negation of Q. The first of all right we will add this a P, Q, P and Q, negation of P, negation Q and and between these two and or between 3 and 6. This is the or between 3 and 6 and last is a double implication between first and second and if you see this the column number seven and the column number eight are the identical and hence the given statement is a logical logically equivalent now let's see this here negation negation of q and between fourth and fifth or between three and six doubling implication between first and second and hence the column number seven and eight are the identical
it is a logically equivalent. Now the, you can see this also here. You want to see? These are the simple tables, and that's why I have to use the Excel sheets here or the Word. And the next is you see this here. The second one. That the P and Q implies R. This is equivalent to P implies Q implies R. Now first is these are the P Q. That is a four times T, four times F, double T, double F. R is a T F T F. P and Q. It's a T T F F F F F F. Now P and Q implies R. P implies T is T. T implies F is F. F implies T is true. F implies F is true. F implies T is true, F implies F is true, F implies T is true, F implies F is true. Now, next is a Q implies R. It is a true F, T, 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 F, T, and again T. And last is a P implies in bracket Q implies R. That is a implication between the first and the sixth one that is a t f t t t next is a t it is a t and it is a true column number fifth and the seventh are the identical and hence the given statement is a logically equivalent now see this again here also P and Q. P and Q implies R. That is four implies third. Now Q implies R. Second column implies third column. In implication, if both of them are same same, then it is true. Otherwise, what implies? And next is the implication between the first. And sixth one, and lastly, we'll see that the column number fifth and seventh are identical, and hence the given statement is a logically equivalent. Column fifth and seventh are. Logically equivalent are identical. And hence the given statement are This is the second one, and in this way, we have completed the first part of the miscellaneous exercise. Now, we'll see in the next video. Till then, goodbye.